I can only videotape a couple of what's under the band-aid because they hurt so bad and I've changed bandages five times today. Doctor won't see me for five days. I don't know what to do. They don't know what the bacteria is, but it's eating. My healthcare horror story is that I was diagnosed with a rare disease called sleep syndrome about a month ago. I previously had a video up on YouTube and I deleted it today in a moment of weakness. Um, I'm at one of the lowest points in my life right now and I couldn't handle the fact that people were calling me a crackhead or questioning the fact that I have a decent home or computer equipment or a cell phone. But that should just go to show you that I do work and I worked all my life. I've worked since I was 15 years old. I'm 44 right now. I lost my full-time job in January and could not afford to pay $800 a month to pick up COBRA. I now work as an independent contractor, which affords me the flexibility to care for my illness as well as my elderly handicapped mother, our two homes, and the acre of land that we share. Even if I sold everything that we owned, it wouldn't cure my disease. It wouldn't pay for all the doctor bills, and it would leave us homeless. And then what would you say about us? I'm not asking anyone for a handout. I am asking for a voice on health care reform in the best country in the world, the United States. Or at least I think we're the best country. Certainly not when it comes to taking care of our own people's health. So bash me if you need to. If it makes you feel better, go for it. By following our video clips of what I go through on a daily basis, fighting sweet syndrome, uh, I can't get into the two specialists that I need to see while this disease is eating me alive from the inside out. The boils that you see are a byproduct of either leukemia or lupus, which is driving the sweet syndrome. But I don't know if I'll ever know if I can't get in to see the specialist. Good luck to all of you out there that are in the same boat as me. And God be with the people who don't understand. It's one, one o'clock in the morning. And I'm up trying to cover the sores again because they hurt bad. This is after the shower the next day. I'm starting to put all the band-aids on my arms and my legs. legs. I need help. I'm afraid to touch myself anywhere because I'm giving myself MRSA everywhere, I guess. It's eating my body away and my lung, and I need help. Help, please. I'm starting to feel a little better. The sores are getting much better, but my right knee and ankle are giving out on me. Well, here I am at 2 o'clock in the morning. I just took a bleach bath. It's May 4th, I think, and uh, I woke up with 11 new boils, 1,200 milligrams of clindamycin plus the Bactrim or whatever it goes in my nose. And I'm, Man, I wish I had a video camera so I could actually record some stuff and let you guys know what this was doing to me at 2 a.m. in the morning, two months on antibiotics, and oh my God, how did I get this, you know? How did I? Three days after vancomycin drip for seven days, my legs have all broken out in cigarette burn looking sores. It's humiliating, debilitating, extremely painful, and I don't know where to turn. My doctor's office said come back, Well, that's my healthcare horror story. <clears throat> so far, I've had over a hundred of those boils on my arms and my legs and my back um, in the last three months. And I'm just working my butt off trying to save the money to get into the specialist 
that I need to see and get the x-rays done on my lung because I have four masses in my right lung. So thanks for watching my story and hopefully something will happen with health care reform in my lifetime. Peace out. I paint my own nails, by the way. Thank <laughs> you.